President Obama's economic stimulus bill left out two people, his daughters. Janet Bodnar, editor of Kiplinger's Personal Finance Magazine, is with us this morning, and she says she thinks Sasha and Malia should get their own economic boost, an increase in their weekly allowance. <laughs> Who's going to pay for that? Good morning, Janet. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. So you wrote this letter in the magazine. I did. And partly in jest, but... With a serious purpose. Because? Because reports are that the two Obama girls get a buck a week as an allowance. Yeah. Now at 7 and 10, mm -hmm. I don't think that's enough money to allow them to make choices with their money, which is exactly what you're supposed to do with an allowance. How am I going to save it? How am I going to spend it? Right. Because a dollar is a, not significant enough money in, in, in order to actually manage it. Exactly. Right? You don't want to give too much allowance. You mm -hmm. don't want to give too little allowance. Right. Let me ask you a very serious question. Mm -hmm. uh, assume you're in a position to actually give your children an allowance. Right. What is there a kind of a hard and fast rule of thumb of how much to give? Well, I have the Janet Bodner rule of thumb, okay, which that's is good. <laughs> which is the um, uh, a weekly allowance that's equal to half a child's age, and I think that's kind of a good starting point because parents seem to feel comfortable with it. Number mm -hmm. one, kids can have money to manage. Number two, and if you want to increase that allowance or uh, give them additional uh, opportunities to earn money, you can do that. Right now, the president, for instance, he always said, "Well, this is all tied to chores and everything else." and he found out the kids were doing their chores regardless. Exactly. So should this be tied to chores? It should be tied to what I call financial chores or financial jobs. So you're not just giving the kids extra money on top of everything you already spend on them. Right. You're turning over some of your financial responsibilities to them. Wow. Now for a 10-year-old and a 7-year-old, mm -hmm. it could be paying for the movies, paying for a refreshments at the movies, or paying for things they like to collect, souvenirs when they travel with mom and dad. Right. Oh, no kidding. Okay. Yeah, sure. So the onus really is, I mean, if you're still going to sit down and have a conversation with your kid about having an allowance. <laughs> it's <laughs> not just what? whoopee. This, it's this <laughs> is not going to be fun. This is going to be horrible. You're going to hate it because you're going to have to start to pay for your stuff. Yeah, and, but it also gives them independence. See, mm -hmm. that's the positive part of this. You're responsible. You're getting older. We're going to give you responsibility with your money and kids right. like that. One of the other things that uh, President Obama said was, especially when he was on the campaign trail, was he forgot <laughs> a lot and his kids would come up and hock him and say, you owe us for like 10 weeks, yeah. right? You suggest that there should be an actual distribution system. Yeah, sure. <laughs> because, you know, welcome to, I mean, every parent has been through this. And, right. you know, it's funny when it, normally I tell parents, do it at the same time every week at a certain place in the house. Maybe right. it's the kids' room. Hey, in the in the in case of the Obama kids, it could be the Lincoln bedroom, you know. I mean, just think of it. Lots of opportunities <laughs> in right. the White House. Uh, let, let, me, let me get too uh, serious for just two seconds sure. here at the end. So we this assume is, we give these kids the, this allowance. And there are these things that you have said in this, this is the stuff you're going to have to start to pay for. Mm -hmm. Are there other things you think these kids should be dividing their money up into category-wise? You, sure. You can use an allowance to teach saving if that's really important to you. You could mm -hmm. require the kids to save, say, 10% of their income, you know, or if you have charitable giving that's important to you. Whatever is important to your family, you can pass along to your kids. Yeah. It's all money management skills. Money management skills. Yeah. And you if we all had more of those, guess what? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs>